The Bayraktar TB2 features a monocoque design that integrates an inverted V-tail structure. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber, Kevlar, and hybrid composites, while the joint segments are precision computer numerical control CNC, machined aluminum parts. The engine is positioned between the tail boom and fuel is stored in the bladder tank. Each Bayraktar TB2 system consists of six air vehicles, two ground control stations, GCS, three ground data terminals, GDT, two remote video terminals, RVT, and ground support equipment. The UAV has a length of 6.5 meters, a wingspan of 12 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms. Designed for short-range reconnaissance and surveillance missions, Bayraktar is currently in service with the Turkish Army. The UAV is equipped with a triple avionics system. The onboard avionics suite includes units, including microcontrollers, engine controls, servo motor power controls, engine signal processing, as well as IO units and GPS receivers. It also features a pitot-static sensor, laser altimeter and alpha-beta sensor modules, as well as speed, temperature and fuel level sensors. The Bayraktar TB2 UAV has a payload capacity of 150 kg and operates day and night. Skylark I is a miniature UAV. It is designed as a human-equipped system for tactical surveillance and reconnaissance. Skylark is launched by hand. The payload consists of a daytime CCD or optional FLIR for nighttime operation. During operation, it transmits real-time video to a portable ground station. Recovery involves a deep stall maneuver, landing on a small inflatable pad. It has a range of 20 fortieths of a kilometer. The drone has a range of 60 kilometers and is designed to be operated by a crew of two and to be deployed using an HMMW V-Class field vehicle. The Skylark 3 is intended to support brigade and division level units, has a wingspan of 4.8 meters, 15.7 feet, and a maximum takeoff weight of 45 kilograms, 99 pounds, with a 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, payload. The weapon is deployed from a pneumatic launcher on the ground or mounted on a vehicle, with an operating range of over 54 nmi, 62 miles, 100 kilometers, a service ceiling of 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, and a flight endurance of up to six hours. The trial evaluated Skylark 3's performance to assess its potential alongside other UAVs for the next phase of programmed activity. The UK Civil Aviation Authority, CAA, supports Elbert to carry out trials in civil airspace. This unmanned aerial vehicle is easy to operate because it can take off and land independently. The runway is independent and requires no infrastructure for takeoff and landing. Additionally, it can be quickly deployed and operated by a crew of two. Pneumatic launchers are used to launch UAVs from vehicles or ships. The long endurance of UAVs gives troops greater hovering capabilities to carry out the same missions as some unmanned aircraft. A recent test flight in the northwestern province of Tekerdag showed a speed of 130 km per hour during previous tests. Selkuk Bayraktar, Baker's chief technology officer, confirmed the achievement on the X social media platform, Bayraktar TB3 successfully completed its fifth test flight. The Bayraktar TB3 has reinforced landing gear, folding wings and a more powerful engine than its predecessor, the Bayraktar TB2. Recent flight tests pave the way for operational readiness of UCAVs on aircraft carriers and offer strategic advantages in the maritime environment. Since starting unmanned aerial vehicle research and development studies in 2003, 83% of Baker's 83 revenues have come from exports. With Bayraktar TB2 and Bayraktar AKINCI export agreements to many countries, Baker's impact on the global UAV landscape remains strong.